Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. And today guys, I'm doing a video, a video for my good friend, Herman Ingram. And Herman, Herman asked me to do a video on a tribute to Beethoven. Beethoven was that famous composer and pianist who, uh, <coughs> He um, he's what classic. He's one of the classical music greats. So I thought I'd put this together and have a bit of a talk to the audience here. And I gotta tell you something: classical music isn't really my axe to grind. Quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Rolex Sky Dweller. Sky Dweller. So, tribute to Beethoven, what can I say there? Well, I gotta tell you something. Beethoven, very quickly, he, was, he died a long, long time ago. Born in, around, christened, I think baptized, 1770. He lived for 56 years, and Beethoven was the guy who, he was going deaf, 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 lack of hearing. Which is a tragedy in itself there because music, sound was his thing. So it's, uh, it's an absolute tragedy. 56 years old, 1770, what does that mean? Well, that was before Australia was settled by European settlers, 1788. So, <laughs> before Captain Cook had came to Australia, Beethoven was born such a long time ago. Born in Bonn, Germany. And it's, it's, it's a fascinating world. Classical musicians of that period there, people like Beethoven, were kind of like our modern day rock stars. They were the, they were the elite musicians, and it's kind of strange because you think you get this stereotypical idea that classical music it's always conservative and uh, you know it's sort of, but it was actually that was the that was the cool music, and. The sad thing is that has happened is that as we have moved, progressed as a society, classical music has become a genre. And I'm, I'm afraid to tell you the truth about classical music. See, the reality is classical music, it's really far superior to any modern music that's out today. Let's face it, a big orchestra uh, is expensive. Expensive. You've got musicians who can uh, have years of practice. You've got musicians who can read sharps and flats, who know what a, who know the fundamentals of great music. See, these people are expensive. Instead, what we've done in modern age is we've got in a, a band. We've got some musicians who think they're cool, who have a bass and an amplifier, and they think they're creating quality music. The reality is a lot of these musicians play in the key of C. A lot of these musicians have very limited musical training. Uh, how do I put it politely? A lot of these musicians are lazy shits. They haven't done the hard work. They haven't done nothing. And it, it is rather, 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 rather sad. I don't know how to put it politely. But to be completely frank and honest with you, if you look at classical music by the greats, Beethoven... Bach, uh, you could have modern compose, more modern composer, Rinsky, Korsakoff, uh, Mendelssohn, 
Mozart. Uh, there's heaps and heaps of of people. You've got to look at it and say, well, okay, if that is the Patek of music, meaning people who play classical music actually have an idea what's going on, you've got to realize a lot of these bands that are out there, they're really the tag, well, not even tag Hoya, they are the, they are the, They are the squally of music, okay? And this is the sad truth. A lot of people, you look at a lot of the music that is popular, popular music. Got to be totally honest with you. It's garbage. The big famous music producers, Stock, Atkin and Waterman. They used a formula method, catchy beat. Stock, Atkin and Waterman. They had Rick Astley. They had Kylie Minogue went to Stock, Atkin and Waterman. Um, they had a formula. Catchy beat. And off it goes. See, that's not really great music. And this is the sad thing. A lot of people out there, they know no better because they never studied music. They didn't play an instrument. And this is the reality. See, most people out there are fools when it comes to music. They are the squally. Modern music really is the squally of choice. Interestingly enough, a lot of good pop musicians actually have had a classical background. Ivor Davies from Ice House was a classically trained, he was actually an oboist, believe it or not. Barry Manilow, classically trained musician. So, when you look at modern music, it's really garbage. It is crap. It is a disgrace. Unfortunately, most people don't have the acumen or the sense to even see the reality. Even Herman Ingram, who, to be completely frank with you, he's a bit of an aloof son of a bitch. It's 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 a simple it's a simple reality. That is that is a higher class of music. So Beethoven himself, one of the Legendary classical musicians, composer and pianist. One of the legends. And unfortunately, people think it's an obscure. They think of it as an obscure side, obscure genre. It's a bit like Patek dress watches. And the reality is modern day music is all related to classical music and modern day watchmaking it's all related to those Patek Philippe style dress watches and you have morons come in who want aquanauts they want nautiluses they have no fucking idea they have no idea same thing with music modern day pop music is lowbrow music. It's garbage. It's garbage. This is the reality. It's garbage. Garbage. It's garbage. And real music itself is the is the, the classics. So in watchmaking, it the same things apply. The top end watchmaking classic dress watches. The perpetual calendar, the world time, perpetual calendar chronograph, these type of pieces are the reasons for existence. But people are too stupid to see this. And I, it, it, it's a sad reality. People, most people out there are morons, morons. 
Steel sports, they want steel. Now, steel sports is a great genre, but it's not the be-all and end-all. Now, I would really put, if classical music is the Patek Philippe of music, I'd say jazz is the Rolex. Jazz. Jazz. Famous for many African-American jazz musicians. And also white, white jazz musicians, Art Pepper, Chet Baker, Louis Armstrong, some amazing Duke Ellington, amazing musicians. So I'd say jazz is like Rolex. And I'd say modern day pop is like Squally. It's garbage. But what can I say? Because this is why I don't make videos about music and the reality. Because most people are too stupid to realize this with music. Modern music, to be honest with you, is pretty crappy. So that's my tribute to Beethoven. This is a video paid for from Herman Ingram. Herman Ingram. He wanted me to make a video and explain this reality. See, I'd, I'd prefer to live in obscurity. Personally, I don't. I think new music is anything 1850 onwards. So, um, hmm, how do I feel? Well, I got to be totally honest with you. I think most people in this world are chasing squallies in watches and in music. The reality is obvious. This is the reason Patek Philippe dress watches is the cornerstone for great horology. But no one listens to me. What would I know? I'm only your pontiff. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer, hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and today guys, I'm very proud to introduce a new sponsor of the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pruder channels. Who am I talking about? Watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. Check them out, guys. Jump online, check out watchshopping.com. These guys here have been in business since 2017. Worldwide shipping and distribution. Over 10,000 wristwatches in inventory. Stock in hand and 90 plus different brands, new and pre-owned. Now, the good thing about watchshopping.com, trusted by over 4,000 reviews on Chrono24 and Trustpilot. Your one-stop shop to buy any watch your heart desires. Please, guys, check out watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. I'm Archie Luxury, and check out watchshopping.com. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, I will review your collection. 
I'll tell you what I think of it, and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is, guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want, and it keeps me going on YouTube because, guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small, specialized area, and I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon. Look down below, and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.